Greetings, everyone, and thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. I'm Don Valiant, and this is the news from Gyeonggi Province this week. The cities of Suwon and Hwasong recently agreed on a solution to a jurisdiction issue involving an area lying on the border between the two cities. This issue can now be resolved during the first half of 2020 after a related proposal is approved by the central government. 30% of this apartment complex is situated in Hwasong City, while the remainder is in Suwon City. Residents of the Hwasong City area of the complex have to travel long distances to access public service centers and schools. After six years of unsuccessful negotiations, the two cities were finally able to reach an agreement on the readjustment of the jurisdictional division of this apartment complex. The solution will involve the two cities exchanging areas of equal size, approximately 200,000 square meters, following a suggestion made by the Gyeonggi provincial government. This is the second case of a jurisdictional readjustment following a similar case between the cities of Yongin and Suwon that was resolved this past September. The Korean government usually approves proposals related to such issues when endorsed by all local autonomies involved. Gyeonggi Province's proposal to the central government was also supported by the Gyeonggi Provincial Assembly. After the central government's review of the proposal, border readjustment is expected to be realized this coming May. Gyeonggi Province organized a public forum to devise creative solutions for the improvement of inter-Korean relations with particular emphasis on Gaesung tour resumption and the reopening of the Gaesung Industrial Complex. Held at the Gyeonggi Provincial Government Complex on December 20th, this forum was organized under the theme of Beyond the Wall of Sanctions to Peace. The official topics were Let's Tour Gaesung and Let's Open the Gaesung Industrial Complex. This forum saw presentations and discussions on peace and unification by specialists. Discussion topics also included Gyeonggi Province initiatives for inter-Korean exchanges and cooperation. This forum featured more than 300 participants, including Gyeonggi Province Vice Governor for Peace, Lee Hwa Young, Peace and Unification Specialists, and Gyeonggi Residents. Last year alone, the number of abandoned dogs in Korea exceeded 120,000. Of these, only 30% found new homes. With the help of Gyeonggi Province, the number of dogs adopted by new owners has been increasing. In 2013, the Gyeonggi Assistance Dog Share Center opened with facilities for more than 100 dogs. At this center, rescued dogs receive health checks, treatments and vaccinations, as well as house training in preparation for adoption. This year, 327 dogs from the center found new lives in new homes. This is a 12% increase over last year, with the number increasing annually. The adoption failure rate is very low since the dogs are given two weeks to become familiar with their potential owners before leaving the shelter. Dogs with special capabilities are trained as assistance dogs and for animal assisted activities. <laughs> Dogs 
Kyungi Province also provides adopters with registration chip and neutering cost support. For more information, contact the Assistance Dog Share Centre by telephone or online. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police recently uncovered a large number of illegal practices by animal-related businesses, including inhumane slaughtering methods and unlicensed breeding. A total of 60 cases involving animal cruelty and illegal breeding were uncovered at 50 locations in the province. The Kyungi Province Special Judicial Police will intensify investigations of animal-related violations. On December 23rd, a recycling promotion event titled Upcycle Value Sharing was held at the Kyungi Province Upcycle Plaza. During the event, items of furniture were created with fiber panels made from discarded banners. Organized with the aim of promoting upcycling, this event featured more than 100 participants. The 180 items of furniture created were donated to regional childcare centers in the province. A sledding area and skating rink opened at the Peace Plaza in front of the Northern Kyungi Provincial Government Complex in Weejungbu City. These facilities will operate until February 16th from 9.20 a.m. to 5 p.m. on weekdays and until 7 p.m. on weekends and holidays. They will be closed on Mondays and during the Lunar New Year holidays. The admission fee is 1,000 Korean won per entry. Reservations can be made for groups of more than 20 persons. On December 24th, the Ichun Hospital of the Kyungi Provincial Medical Center reopened after the completion of expansion work that began in 2017. With its facilities expanded to eight levels, five floors above ground and three floors below, this hospital now features significantly increased capacities with 300 beds and 12 departments. Its new cardiovascular center, rehabilitation center, and regional emergency center will provide specialized services in cooperation with the Bundang Seoul National University Hospital. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of GTV. We look forward to seeing you again next week.